Hello, my beautiful and courageous friends. It's Natalie Kelly here. And today I'm here with Dr. Lori Chaikin, who's a rehab optometrist here in Alameda, California. When the waves came and when the storm raged, found myself falling into the ground. When the wind blew, that's when it fell through. And I don't know how to turn it around. I know there's more to me than the record you see. There's more to be. I'm still on the journey. your issue, I was shocked to hear that, that no one had identified um, your particular issue. And, and I'll just share a little bit about what the things that, that you are, are having to deal with. Um, what happens to Natalie is when she's looking at a, something right in front of her, she has a particular way that her eyes work together. Um, and there's a little bit of a, a vertical uh, uh, misalignment of her eyes. When she looks to the left, her eye, one of her eyes will go down relative to the other eye. When she looks to the right, the eye will, it'll be just the reverse, where now the right eye may go up and the left eye goes down. That makes it really, really challenging because now the platform for stable vision is constantly changing. And she was wondering why she was constantly feeling so disoriented, and that's why. That <laughs> wherever she looks, the visual platform is different. Yeah. And what makes it particularly uh, difficult for her is that there's no real prism that we can work with um, that will make it right because the moment she looks to the left or the right, the prism will no longer be correcting appropriately. It will be actually working against her. Right. And so we're needing to approach that in a different uh, way of yeah. working with. And one of the things that's happened for me that I hear over and over and over is that I went to probably 12 neurologists, neuro-ophthalmologists, um, doctors, so many people, physical mm -hmm. therapists, and nobody identified any of this. Wow. So, you know, it wasn't until I found you and the Nora website mm -hmm. that I started to go, oh, it's not just me. Right. I'm not crazy. Yeah. This really is, this really is challenging. <sighs> and, um, and it's so upsetting that you were told that you're crazy. Yeah. Uh, rather than that there was an actual problem. Yeah. That was identifiable, measurable. And when I'm walking down the street, everything's bouncing. Right. And having a very hard time right. figuring out where the floor is. Right. And yeah. 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 So that's wow. why we're doing this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we don't want anybody else going through that. No. Yeah. So the kind of practitioner that would be able to diagnose these issues would be a behavioral optometrist? A behavioral optometrist um, or someone that calls themselves a developmental optometrist or someone that calls themselves a neurooptometrist. And many of the behavioral optometrists... Um, they may work more in pediatrics, but um, they have the skills to work with, with um, adults. That's when it fell well. through, and I don't know how to turn it around. I know there's more to me than the wreckage you see. 